little bit tipped forward. Oh, there's Molly over there kung fu fighting again. So remember, we're just shaping a deliver to hand. And you're crafting it. That's what you're saying to yourself. I'm crafting it. I better be. Look at her in that wagon. I mean, how cute is that? If I'm crafting something, I better be seeing the finished product. So everything I'm doing better be contributing to that. That's why I tell people don't waste time teaching tricks and stuff. Don't waste time with that. I'm starting to see a very, very destructive thing is where the people put their hand out and want the dog to touch their hand. Don't do that. I, it's, it's forced <coughs> engagement because you're going, it's, it's honestly like, I really honestly, if I could live the rest of my life without having to shake hands with anybody, I would be fine. I, I would be fine. There's times I feel really uncomfortable, and I know it's a social gesture, and I know I didn't invent it, and I wouldn't, but especially men, you know, I, everybody that's ever shook my head said, oh, you jerk. It's not that. It's not that I, I you know, I understand it's a social gesture, but it's not something that I just want a glad hand. I'm no politician. I don't want a glad hand, everybody. All right, look, so I can try putting it in there and then making it go farther away. Not that far. So I was able to get him to travel a little bit. All right, look, let's see if he sees it in here. Yes, yeah, she did, but let's see if she remembers to go around. Nope, she doesn't remember. And if you said why, because she had success with that before. She had success jumping up there. She just can't duplicate her success. If it falls down in there, look at her biting the thing. All right, look, I made it fall down in there. That might, oh. <laughs> oh, you little monkey. I actually thought she would realize to run around to the door. All right, she's gonna have to bring it up here though. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, Mama better make sure she gets it. She brought it right to me. She brought it right to me. All right, look, I'm going to put the bottle in there. And this is kind of a big bottle. And for you guys that do your own little quasi vet work, uh, this is pharmaceutical grade stuff, Alexa. You can buy it online, just you should always have it on hand. Oh, and it, all right, look at her now. She's smart. Now she's going to sit right there. All right, look, but I'm going to make it more complex. She's going to have to go, <laughs> oh, complex, complex. That's kind of big, too, for her mouth. All right, look, I'm going to put it. All right, so let's try the little picture, and I think they'll be able to pick it up. It'll be, it's going to be easy to see because of the white. Watch. Oh, she's already trying to pick it up. And she can't pick it up. And she's trying. Not putting on your tail. Uh, it might be easier to pick up in this thing. Watch. <laughs> you little monkey. You little monkey. You bring it to mama. Stuff like that. Uh oh, you little monkey. You little monkey. That's the problem with stuff like this that gets flat on the ground. They do, they can learn to pick it up. All right, he'll see it back in there in a minute. Oh, you, oh, you little stinker. All right, I'm going to try staring over into the wagon. I just picked it up because I didn't want him to get too frustrated. The bottom of that thing is, isn't completely even, so he should be able to pick it up. He's going to go look. He saw me looking. <laughs> you little monkey. He should be able to pick it up pretty easy out of there. <laughs> Yay. Yay. He even skated over in the wagon. All right, let's try putting it back in here. See, that's her problem. She may decide, though. She may decide there's a better way. She knows other ways to get in there. Oh. 
But she also believes that she can get in there that way. That shows a lot. It really does. <laughs> oh, you little monkey. You little monkey. All right, let me get the thing. Oh, you little stealer. You little stealer. All right, let me put the picture back in there and just look. All right, he's looking at me, so we'll see if he sees where, cares where I'm looking. I think you've got to say that it bent his head. It bent his head. He didn't completely look in there, but it did bend his head. Well, I think he spotted it now. Yeah, uh -huh. There you go. There you go. You gotta kind of bring it to me. Yay. Oh, I'm too cute. Sorry, that was somebody calling on the phone. Anyway, how cute is that? And I like the way that they they get in that wagon. They don't seem to mind it rolling around with a minute. I think it would scare them. Anyway, they're very, very interesting. I'm going to run over uh, to Diamond Bar real quick, you guys, and just do a couple of things. And uh, then we're going to go down to the pond. But it's very, very exciting work. Very, very... Hi, Joe. Very, very exciting work. I can barely see my screen, though. I've got to get those blue blocker glasses. The only bad thing, I did order that smooth, but I think you have to take your phone out of the case, which is going to be risky business for me. I'm going to have to be very careful if I have that thing out of the case now in this costly little device that one of these idiots doesn't grab it out of my hand or something. And I was thinking of ordering one of those ones that's got the big weight on it. I didn't completely understand it, but I said, no, they'll definitely think that's a toy. All right, guys, I'm running to Diamond Bar real quick, and then we're going to go down to the pond, so I'll come over there. Oh, oh you little wagon rider. Oh, <laughs> she's cutie. Right, guys we're back with the cutest thing he was just if I could get him to do it again but the yellow one he had his front feet in the wagon and he was kind of pushing himself along by accident but it was really cute oh it was cute I, I bet you know they could learn to do it he might do it again watch he climbed in there and then it started kind of wheeling away and he just kind of went with it oh, here comes Molly with her kung fu fighting again and I, I do think it's important. I mean, Molly, I, you know, I owe a debt of gratitude to Molly. Yeah, she bites my feet every day, but she's the straight out of central casting little dog that exists in America. It's yappy. It's small. It's indulged and entitled. It's very noisy. Its owner thinks it's a killer and it's everywhere. So, you know, part of your job is maybe to expose puppies to this individual in life. So, anyway, I've got some kind of voicemail, but I just couldn't answer the phone. When people call when it's live, then... Anyway, guys, but what I've had them doing is finding this little picture. I'm kind of taking, like, a Twin Peaks theme to the show now. So this is the picture of the lost puppy. <laughs> Not really. And I've got him picking up the dumbbells, and I've got him picking up this little bit bigger bottle. And then I'm going to take him down to the pond, so you guys stay tuned for that. But I was... I can do the... And I understand that the banging noise of the pan is somehow penetrating in more. It has just maybe a different cadence and different ability to send waves or whatever.
I see, I did. I gave it to all of them just from being up there. I just paused a minute, and so when that other one put its feet up there, that was Bug. When Bug put her feet up there, then I gave it to her. You want them to believe their actions will lead to something, not that their actions lead to corrections. That's where people go wrong.